No Fluffy, no, 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 you don't want to know about these guys here. I'm contending with a huge invasion of these uh, rather nasty and stingy hairy caterpillars. And I don't know, I seem to be getting invasions of uh, just about everything these days. I've never seen them in numbers like I have seen this year. I don't know what that's telling me. Warning, this video contains unorthodox methods of pest control. Do not try to emulate this style of pest control yourself. Some footage in this video may trigger some people. You need to understand this was a massive infestation of critters and I have the right to evict them from my property. They can be very mobile when they want to be. They can move uh, quite fast on the ground and I believe these become moths once they pass this stage. I said to my children, uh, make sure you're wearing your shoes if you're going outside because these things uh, everywhere. It seems like every morning I come outside I'm dealing with uh, this sort of menace all over the place. They love to climb up walls, you'll find them up on the walls. And one huge problem is they end up getting inside the house. The more I look around, the more I see. That's weird, that one's having a strange sort of uh, yellow thing coming out of its backside. I don't know what that means. Up past my red back spider infested bins I found a mass of these caterpillars yesterday. They're all along here and I end up spraying them and hopefully at the moment a lot of those guys are dead but it looks like some of them may still be alive. I'm going to flamethrower some of these guys. Uh, this is bad man. I've never seen it so bad. Goodbye sister. Well that seems to have done the trick, I can't see them squirming anymore. I dare say in some countries that's a delicacy. But that's just a small number. If I crawl along here and look very carefully on the ground, you're going to start to see something quite amazing. There is just more and more and more of these horrible, stingy, hairy caterpillars. And if you thought that there is bad, well that's one side of the path, the side of my house. This is the other side and I'll take the camera down here nice and low and you can take a look at what's going on here. There is just a whole carpet of these horrible stinging caterpillars. I've never ever seen them on mass like this. I'm just going to go and get my son out because he's never seen that before either. Obviously that's my son there in front of me. I've just grabbed him from inside. Now look down on the ground and tell me what you see. <laughs> What's your reaction to those caterpillars on the ground? Gross. Gross, isn't it? Have we had lots of those in the house? A million of them in the house? Yes, every morning we uh, tend to have a caterpillar check and I think I'm going to have to deal with these guys on the floor here. Oh, I want to swear so badly. Yeah, well, I want to swear as well, but we can't swear because it's Kitty's YouTube. Uh, these things are gross. I'm hoping my son is, well, half smart. What's the best way to deal with these caterpillars? Flamethrower. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you very much. Hopefully we don't burn the house down. Well, don't tell mummy. That's the secret. I'm actually uh, just starting to come to grips with the extent of the infestation here. Apart from the masses which are down on the ground there, I look in the garden here and I'm going to crawl up a tree and it just gets more shocking, much, much more shocking. Okay, that black thing there is a whole swarm of them in a sense. I don't know what you call masses of caterpillars. There's more there. Okay, look at that there. Let me just move that away. My oh, goodness me. I've never ever seen this before. And if I go up here further, there's another sort of swarm of them there. I don't know whether swarm's the right word. And as I keep going up the tree, uh, it just keeps reoccurring. There's another one there and there's more uh, just there. This is a far grander problem uh, than we ever first expected. You're a little bit frightened now, aren't you? Yeah. You want to go inside, don't you? Well, no, because I, I want to see the fire and I have backup water in case. Thanks for the backup water, yeah. In case stuff go wrong. I'm going to try and control some of them with a flamethrower. I will wet down the area first around here in case uh, I do manage to burn the house down. And just on the tree there, even around the trunk of this tree, look at that. Just masses and masses of caterpillars. I um, wonder what happens if you squirt them with water. I can wash them off, look at that. Well, that's sort of one way of dealing with them, but I don't think that's going to control them. They just wash straight off. But the opposite of the water is fire. And uh, 
that's going to hopefully tidy up a lot of the ones on the ground here. All this, they're crackling hot, aren't they? Look at that, they cook up really fast. Actually, they don't smell too bad either. see this video I'll tell you and I've got my son here on fire control yeah good boy that's the way there's a whole stack uh, down there okay. and I'll just keep the pathway here And while I'm on the warpath, I notice a redback spider web there. I know how to deal with that. Got a hot date for the redback. Ooh, and I can see an escapee caterpillar. Bastard. Well, it's a little bit smoky, but at least I've got rid of a lot of those menacing caterpillars. Thanks for your fire control help there. That was nice work. Plus, there's a spider behind me. There's a spider. Well, let the spider live. Maybe the spider can clean up those caterpillars. The caterpillars on the tree here, I'll let these guys live, we're going to let some of the population continue on. Uh, but don't these guys just devour everything in sight? Aren't the trees here going to die? Now the big problem for me is I've got to get rid of all of these caterpillar carcasses because all it's going to do is attract flies and other things that will now feed off this. I think I'll just have to get the blower back out and uh, blow these guys to oblivion. There's one there trying to escape. Ugh, busted. I know, I know, the caterpillar lovers will be triggered by this video. Oh, but Leo, you shouldn't have killed the caterpillars. They turn into beautiful little moths. They're part of nature. But those guys are in plague proportions. We've had a number of critters at our place in numbers that I don't like. Those caterpillars get into the house. They sting you. They're horrible things to deal with. Seeing them in numbers like that is scary. First time I've seen them like bark on the tree. You often see that with cicadas in a prime year. I've got the right to deal with these guys. I was going to use chemical, but hey, the flamethrower cooked them up nicely. I'm the captain of this ship, and I decide who sinks or swims. No pun intended. And that's how I'm going to tidy the guys up, all the carcasses on the ground. It's that simple, I hope. Good night, sister! <laughs> Ah uh, yes, uh, that's my boy.